All right, so I taught the bear trap bottom position. Now I'm gonna show the bear trap top position. So bear trap top is just when I have his leg a trap, the bear trap, but he's on his back and I'm on top. So basic way I enter it is a lot of times the guy's playing butterfly guard, okay? I'm gonna shove him back here and I'm trying to enter 411. So I step my leg in between his legs, I back step, but then he blocks my hips, okay? And so because I can't go 411, I back out and now I have his leg trap in the bear trap type position here. So from here, when I'm on top, I don't usually like to figure four my legs. I just like to have, so this leg here is underneath. I'll show a different angle in a second. So from here, I have the basic bear trap position here. Um, but now the first submission I'm gonna do is a calf crush. So when I do go for the calf crush, because I'm gonna put my head on this side of his leg, I do like to figure four my legs here. Okay, and then I'm gonna gable grip and just extend the finish. All right. So on this side. Okay, so here's probably a better angle. So I'm here. Okay, he's on his back. I have my leg in between um, or behind his knee here. Okay, so I have a bear trap type position I'm gonna go into and I'm gonna sit down. When I sit down, I just like to have my legs kind of crossed. I don't necessarily like to figure four my leg. Okay, now to finish with calf pressure. So this is a technique I saw Gio Martinez use. And so I have a um, bear trap. I'm gonna get my head inside his leg. I figure four my legs and I gable it and I tap them. All right, so that is the calf pressure. The next technique from here I'm gonna do is a leg lock. So again, I'm here. I get the bear trap, okay, and I have his leg trapped. And so, come on this way. Again, I'm gonna use this bear trap from the top. Um, I don't necessarily like the figure four my legs here because it kind of sticks out. So I just like to have my other leg so my toes are kind of against his leg here. All right, so now to do the ankle lock, I'm gonna scoop up his, his opposite leg here I'm gonna to try to fold my side and my free legs and come on top. And it's gonna be on his stomach here, okay? And from here, I switch usually from this bottom leg bread trapping to I'm on top, this top leg here. So I have his leg behind his knee, okay? And I still have his, leg, his bottom leg trapped. So from here, I just do a bigger four grip and I arch back to finish the ankle lock. So here. All right, so I'm kind of seeing cross-legged a little bit. I have his leg trapped. I scoop up his free leg. I pull it onto me. Okay, I have the ankle lock. This leg comes out and this leg, see, is on, on top. Um, I wanna keep this leg tight though here. I just brought this out so you can see. And so now I have both his legs trapped. I have his ankle lock. This leg was on top, and I finished the ankle lock normal here. Okay, the ankle lock. That's the second one. So the third one I'm gonna do is an esteemal lock. So again, I have the bear trap position, and I do this move when he kind of goes to push me away, but, and his toes are either straight up or angled a little bit. Sometimes the guy wants to bail out, and he turns to his side and puts his foot this way. Okay, so when he does that, I control his foot, I push it down to my stomach here, and I'm gonna reach around my arm, and I'm gonna have like a rear naked grip here. And I figure four my arms around his leg, and to finish, I just turn here. Okay, let's see block. So this side. Okay, so again, I'm gonna go ahead. He, his, uh, pushes, he puts his foot on my stomach, Okay, so I'm gonna, if it's too high here, I'm gonna shove it down to my stomach. I'm gonna lean forward here. Okay, this uh, leg, this arm comes around here from his, his, his ankle here. I do, I'm gonna figure four grip and lean forward and I turn my body to finish. Okay, so that's a steam lock. The next one I like to do here is a heel hook. So I'm gonna heel hook the leg I have trapped with the bear trap. So I'm here and I want his instep 
on my side here, inside of my body. Okay, I'm gonna cross grip, grab this heel, make sure it's tight to my side, and then I'm gonna hip out uh, this way. Okay, so I hip out. If I do that, I pull his uh, foot towards me. So I'm gonna twist his, um, his ankle here, and like a heel hook. So here, and I finish. Okay, so here. Okay, so you can see here, I think his legs, right? All right, so his legs cross my body here. I have his leg trapped, bear trap. Okay, I wanna make sure this stays tight. There's no space. So make sure it's tight to my side. I cross, wrap, uh, cross grip his heel. I push it into me. And again, to gain enough leverage to finish, I'm gonna hip out to the side as I pull his, um, his heel up here like this, and I finish. Okay, um, after I hip out here, it's more power. I can use two hands on this heel, and then I twist here, okay? What I don't wanna do when I do this, I don't wanna lean back, because then it's easy for his foot to slip, okay? So I stay uh, bent here, I trap his heel, and I just uh, twist to finish the heel hook. All right, so those are some submissions for the bear trap top position.